front of a six to four win though. It just fouled back. And this still had 79 on it. Yeah. Jacks played it three and answered in the bottom of the fourth, top of the fifth now. They played it one in the second, two in the third, one in the top half of the fourth. Inside. Oh, they're gonna go. Perkins can't get it out of the dirt. Wild pitching yeah, teams can do that because collectively opposed this year 12 for 15 on stolen bases so they can test the arm of the Jags. The one two by Melton. Trying to frame that, that Frisbee curve was nowhere near the front left corner of the plate. A little bit more on the off speed pitch, 81 on when that glove has to get on the ground. The sound just gives it away. Wind, wind blowing first base out towards left center. Hard. Back up to 11 miles per hour here, Stanky. Again down. And he's just walked him. Just you know, walked him. Way to watch, Matthew. One out. That sets up the double play situation. You're behind the count 3-2. Throw him something low. See if he'll help you out and swing at it. If he doesn't, then all right. You got a double play situation. Reminiscent of the final inning against Indiana, though, we loaded the bases up, hoping for double play. Needy. They have three hits in this inning and lead the Jags 5-3. to three. Top of the fifth, back still loaded. That's the pitch we've gotten the strike on, and it's been inconsistently called. And now the fans starting to groan behind the man in blue. So a lefty on the mound, a lefty in the bullpen for South Alabama. And here comes the 2-2 from Melton. High and foul will stay at two of each. One. That came in the fourth. Struck oh, him out. Come on. Foul Dang. tip in the glove. Walk, but batted 417 for the weekend against the Bulldogs. Two away. Slider comes in low. Ball one to Walter. They got Hunter Slater on deck. He has an RBI single. Sweeping curve misses outside, running the count to 2-0. You gotta throw strikes, bases loaded now. You got throw strikes, two outs, and bases loaded to a guy who can do a, a whole lot of damage. Yeah. Big gap up the middle. Second baseman Snokes is rotated over to first. Finally a called strike, slightly upstairs. And laying off of it was Walner. Close game. Throwing some smoke at these guys and getting JoJo Booker, the freshman, in. 2 1. Called strike 2 2. We got a call right there. I'm not sure yeah. that hit in the front corner. I love, Very marginal. I love the call, but I'm with you. It looked to be a little bit too much outside. And if I'm a hitting coach at Matt Walner, that was a good take. You're not done. Your bat stays alive. He plays midway through the box right side. 2 2 by the lefty. And a miss. Full count. Melton was walking to the dugout. Well, Matt. And the entire infield was heading to the dugout. Umpire says no. Keep playing. Three balls, two strikes. Got to throw one here over the plate. Come on. All runners are already going. Tipped it back. Everybody go back. Diamond girls getting the uh, reps in. Chasing down the foul balls. Safety first. They're wearing some nice red head gear. So Melton now, adjust the sleeve, throwing arm to the left, the kick, runners heading out. Walk him. Walk him on, in. Him. Walk him on in. Come on. Two innings, four hits, three runs, all earned against Melton. Running his early ERA up to 9.82. And we'll have Jerry Proctor come on. We'll introduce you to him in his. But third base side, let it roll. Oh. Yeah, 